Well, just that the time at the White House is so fascinating, I think, for us every time we talk about it. Oh, it's like it, right? we can't get Ooh. enough of it because <laughs> we're convinced it's the West Wing. It's, it's, I thought it was the West Wing, and I, I think we may have talked about this before, where, like, I tried to order food at midnight once, yeah. and they're like, oh, no, you can't get delivery to the real White House, because people <laughs> could lose your food. <laughs> but there's also a lot of self-deprecating stuff. Yeah. Can, I, can I tell you a, a yes. story? Yeah, yeah, that I, no, probably, I mentioned want. this in the book, but I haven't really it's shared it verbally. Us. So there, there are a lot of things where, times where I would put my foot in my mouth, Sure. Um, so I needed a haircut one day, and I, in DuPont Circle in D.C., there was this barber I didn't know. I walk in, the guy's name is Rodolfo, and he's like, I know you, your movies are hilarious. I'm like, thanks, man. He goes, and you work at the White House now. And I'm like, okay, you know everything about me. Yeah. So I'm getting my haircut, trying to be very polite, and he keeps saying, I'm not just a barber, I own a tapas bar. You should come to my tapas bar. It's a great bar. I'm like, yeah, great, I would love to, I love I would love to come. Yeah. So, and then he goes, you should bring your whole office. And I said, well, you know, the White House ethics rules are that you can't accept free anything. And he's like, I'll take care of you all night. You right, know, right. free tapas bar goodness for everybody. So finally at the end, I was just like, do you have a card? I would, you know, I'll call you. Maybe we can do our holiday party there and we'll pay for it. And that'll right. be fine. So he goes, he's so excited. He's like, hey, bring, bring President Obama. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, well, sure. well, but you don't see, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, great. No, I would love to. I go home and I'm like, okay, emptying phone, wallet, keys. Oh, yeah, this guy's business card. It's a barber pole with a, a, a drawing of a woman sliding down it, and it says, Rodolfo's Ladies Topless Bar. Topless. <laughs> and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. I oh, promised this head. man. So then the next day, I go into the White House and I told my boss, I'm like, I feel like I need to disclose this to you that I inadvertently, <laughs> and then she said, I we committed do, us. we need to tell the White House Counsel's Office because, <laughs> In case, like, Politico or TMZ are like, Pick it like out could you imagine it. Kumar takes, <laughs> promises to take White House staff to strip club, Rodolfo's. like, yo, yeah. we gotta stop. So, well, at least the haircut was probably is good, right? The haircut was great. Is 